According to multiple sources in the private session, Curry told the team he believed in them, that they had enough to win. He asked for their trust in return. He assured them he could deliver victory if they all bought in. He implored them to put all of their feelings aside, which sources with knowledge of the locker room felt was messaged directly, directed at Poole, John the Kaminga, and other guys who might have been unhappy for reasons such as playing time and role, and lock in to the unified mission. Anyone who wanted to remain in their emotions, he told them to stay home. Anyone who was ready for their vacation, he told them to not get on the bus for Sacramento. But anyone who did get on the bus, Curry took that as a signature of approval, a binding agreement to be on board with the mission. And if they did that, if they got on the bus, he promised he would deliver. With his game, his faith, their solidarity, they'd win. When you read this, when you see this, when you saw what happened in that game, you have nothing, you should have nothing to say. We watched someone literally tell them, put this team on my back, like he did last year in the finals. And people still find ways to hate. But don't worry. One thing Stephen Curry that I've seen him do is shut people up. And before we get into the video, before we get to the intro, I just want to say this too. People always, I've noticed a lot of people say Stephen Curry has ruined basketball. I truly believe he has actually put faith, instilled faith into a lot of the youth, a lot of teenagers, a lot of adults that are playing pro, semi-pro, whatever it may be. A lot of you have to understand, this brother has allowed the normal human being to think they can make it pro with just a lot of hard work and obsession of their craft. And if you understand that, being a master of your craft, you understand what I'm talking about. And just seeing this and then seeing what happened, seeing Jordan Poole act the way he acted, seeing the way he played, and still seeing this brother go on top, man. Pause. <laughs> it was absolutely fabulous. Let's get into it, y'all. My beautiful people, my beautiful people, my beautiful people, welcome back to another lovely episode of the Logical Emotions Podcast slash Reaction. It's your dog, it's your brother, man, it's your favorite African-American, Melly Baby. Warriors! Yes, sir! We here, baby! Hey, man, shout out to the king, shout out to Sacktown, give them a round of applause, round of applause in the chat. I mean, whoa. Down below in the comments, man. Shout out to the Kings, man. Much love to y'all, man. Much love. We show love on this channel, man. We show love no matter what, bro. They were a great opponent for the first round, man. I truly enjoyed it. I've never been nervous in my life watching basketball, but I was so nervous. I still trusted my squad, but I was very nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. But, man, De'Aaron Fox, you're going to be something. Murray, Monk. Sabonis, so you need to get some more balls, bro, because I don't know what the hell is going on with you, bro. But other than that, man, Kings, shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to Sacktown, much love. But it's Warriors time, so let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about the greatest of Stephen Curry. Let's talk about what he had to do, how he had to do it, and man, did he do it. My God, man. Um, but let's break it down, man. Let's get into it, man. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I also almost forgot to get the freaking video, man. I'm sorry about that, y'all. That is just crazy, but turn this off, man. I am excited to watch this game again, man. Like, this was a master class, an absolute master class, ladies and gentlemen. And, man, like I said, I feel bad for the Kings just because they, 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 they woke that giant up, man. They really did. Let's react to it, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Shout out to CCBN, man, for all the NBA highlights, man, that allow us to react to this lovely playoffs, man. Shout out to you, my brother. Bow! And let's get into watching a master at work. Oh, beautiful pass. Draymond Green. Once I saw that first play, I already knew how it was going to go. Golden State has struggled on the road all season long. But they had that huge win right on this building in game five. Sabonis. Murray, Murray's going to be so special, bro. He could shoot his ass off. 
I love the idea of coach of playing through Sabonis, especially the way that Looney is defending him. Sabonis! Off to an extra. I ain't never seen a dude have such a hard time shooting a wide open mid range shot in my life. I've never seen that. My Kings fans, what what, what is the deal with Sabonis in 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 regards to that? Why is it so difficult for him? Because I saw even him airballing floaters. What, what what's up with him with that? Can y'all let me know in the comments down below, please, please, man. We start the second time they've exploited the blitz to the pick and roll, the opening. Oh, I'm sorry. First bucket and now that one. Looney and Curry play catch. Curry, that's his first three-pointer and his first field goal. And that was the start so of something Darren real crazy. Play. He doesn't fall for the trap. A little dribble handoff action sets the screen, creates the opening for Thompson. Murray, but Thompson chasing behind. Deegan Murray. Shout out to Clay, too, man. Clay, Clay, Clay played so pretty good defense. He just shot like hot ass. Oh, my God. All right. I want to say this. This is one of Clay's problems. I've seen Clay do this. Seen, I've seen DiVincenzo do this, too. They have the most, sometimes Divincenzo has this, but Clay has so much tunnel vision, it's ridiculous. Warriors How do you not whip that right in the middle? Overhead, something. Lo Looney is wide open, bro. There's no way you didn't see him there. There's no way. But I've seen him do that a lot of games this year, too. It it's, it's, it's whenever they cut down the middle, for a lot of people, honestly. It could be Curry sometimes, too. You know, but I've seen um Poole, Clay and uh wiggins they are i've seen them notoriously miss those cuts a lot down the middle i've seen that a lot this year something to look out for in, in the game against the lakers because if they miss those it ain't, ain't gonna look good good performance from pool like thank god thank god moody is is ready to play man thank god for him man keegan murray jump shot he needs he needs jordan Poole's minutes Jordan Poole, you were absolutely abysmal this series. To the point that they, that, that, that they dead at, like, listen, they, you heard what I just read. And then what they said about the possibility of them talk, him talking about Jordan Poole and Kaminga. The fact that he might, they might have been talking about you, Poole, and then we saw you not want to talk to Draymond, whatever it may be. I understand your frustration, bro. But you playing like ass. Ass. And I ain't gonna lie, you low-key playing selfish. You playing some weird ass hero basketball, which I do not understand. And I know you're young. Shout out to my dog Ant, by the way. But this is not an excuse. Cause last year you were phenomenal. So so now so now in the playoffs, you, 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 you like like you're just gonna pout all the time when you, you when you when you suck. Just do better, bro. That's all. All we're asking for you, bro, is to just be aware of your speed and know when to uh uh Change paces. Because, bro, the first play Poole had, he got his, his stuff punched on the backboard. That was a terrible take. Instead of going into the person's body on the right or the left, he goes, he tries to really sneak in there and get a layup. As if length is not going to beat speed any any time of the day. Especially if they're holding you back. Jordan Poole's problem, again, I'm, I'm, it's not me making fun of, bro. This is me critiquing. Jordan Poole's problem is that when he goes at full speed and they hold him back with their forearm... They have nothing but time now to block the hell out of him unless he reverses it or gets more, you know, English on it, whatever it may be. Jordan Poole thinks he still has it a lot of times, but he doesn't do due to a lot of length. Murray, for example, has a lot of length. Barnes, all them dudes on the Kings got length. Pause. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm watching Poole, I'm just looking at him like, bro, you got to, you got to, you got to think better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know, bro. It's, it's odd to me. Now, Kaminga not playing, I don't know what the hell that's about. Steve Kerr was on some nut stuff right there. But he better play this round. Or, or, or listen, I'll, I'll make it to Twitter. Y'all got to see me on Twitter if Kaminga doesn't play. I promise you. Second field goal for the rookie. Things a little more Because, bro, they were lighting, they were lighting Pooh's ass up, bro. Look at this. Curry, scoop play up. Oh, this man was in attack Curry. mode from the one. jump, bro. Wide open. Five Great move. Searching. Now jump shot. That's this is this is how weak pool is, bro. Pool. Fox knows the deal. That one. Not using the screen. Get Draymond away. Wide. He knows Wiggins is not gonna help out because if they do, Monk is wide the hell open. You know you know you know you know how easy it is to, to score on pool. Check this out. Wide open. He went slow. Bumped him. Bumped him real quick for a step back. Fox. 
barely any resistance. Searching. Now jump shot. That's his first. That's how light it is to, to, to score on Jordan Poole. That's how light it is. Jordan Poole doesn't have aggression on defense. That's that's the problem. It's like he's I don't know, bro. It, it's weird. And again, it's like my dog Ann says, I get he's young. But but I'm gonna say something. If Jordan Poole was the reason we lost this this game, like he was the reason why we lost the other game too. And of course, Golden State has a whole lost that too. Don't get me wrong. But if he was the main reason why, I promise you, he, he would have been gone next year. He would have been gone. He would have been gone. Because, bro, he's playing like ass. He's playing dead ass like Dylan Brooks. Ass. Hot ass. Hot off the press ass. So is Clay. Hot off the press ass, too. Second block for Peyton on a jump shot. And don't worry, I'm going to talk about him, too. Draymond Green runs and finishes. Great cut, Dre. Great cut, man. Curry, long distance. That's good. You yeah, when I see this, I was crying. Look at this. Curry, long Yo, he palmed his freaking head. Yo, when I saw that live, I thought I was tripping. I'm like, is that not a foul? <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Yo, shout out to Davis, man. He, he, yo, listen, he broke broke a hoop, man. But Mike Brown, I ain't gonna lie, that was a defensive. That was just terrible coaching. You not putting Mitchell on him, bro. I did not understand that at all. Um, even when Darren Fox was guarding Curry, I thought that was stupid as hell. Why would you want your main contributor on the offense to also play hard defense on Stephen Curry? I thought that was just very dumb. I thought that was very dumb. Y'all can feel differently. Differently, let me know in the comments, please. Long distance. That's good. Steph Curry with his second three. Fox drives on Curry. Curry trying to slap it away. There's the help defense. Lyles gathers and hits. On Curry. Curry trying to slap. Drone pool. Question. What were you going to do if that went to Sabonis? This is, this is what I'm talking about. What were you going to do? Slap it away. This is what I mean when I say to you, Drone pool doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Why would you, why, why are you down there? You're not, you're literally going to not do anything. Let Draymond take care of it. Why would you help double team with Draymond right down there? Why? I, I, like I said, I don't understand. Again, him and Clay, bro, their, their, their defensive IQ is, is ass. Clay obviously plays a lot better defense and he's getting in rhythm. This game, he played good defense. I ain't gonna cap it. Clay played good defense this game for real. He played, he played Goody a lot this series, to be honest with you. Uh, his scoring suffered, but his defense was... I'm not going to lie to y'all. But this was just silly. I saw this. Defense. Lyles gathers and hits. Oh. Hey, cool. And Come this on, is bro. Lyles at center group. Curry, left-handed, lays it up and in. It makes no sense, Davis bro. Davis has got to be more disciplined. Box, another good pass. Wide oh, great open. Great here. That is great ball movement. That's great ball movement. That is great ball movement, man. Most teams have a guy they can lob it to. That's not who Rooney is. You're not going to throw it up in the air to him. Too easy. Too easy. Good pass. Good dunk. Herder chasing Thompson. Thompson gets inside. If I see this light skin statue freaking dribble like he did this game, this series as much again, bro, I'm losing my mind. Clay. You're not a ball handler. Stop. Stop. Please. God, please stop. Because it was gross watching you try to score. It was gross. You got a man over here trying to drop a hundred off, but you want to keep throwing up bricks. Didn't I, like I said, bro, I said in the beginning of the year two when he was being mad selfish to shooting because he kept bricking everything. If y'all tell me he wasn't being selfish this game and the last game too, you're out of your mind. Clay was being mad selfish. I think in the first half, he shot, what, one for 10? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Like, come on, dog. That's ridiculous. And I saw somebody on, on, on Twitter, because I saw trending, said, shooter's going to keep shooting. Well, guess what? He ain't no shooter today. He was not a shooter today. He did hit some clutch buckets, though. I got to admit that and give brothers credit. He did hit clutch buckets when we needed it. Thank the Lord. But imagine if Clay was actually efficient this game and actually shot, let's say, even five for ten, bro. We we we, we might have won by forty. 
if him and Wiggins, but then again, like I said, y'all, I can't be too mad at Clay because the brother was playing defense. But it's just his shot selection was just not it, man. And then he was missing. Again, it's a mix. He had some bad shot selections, but then again, he did miss wide open shots at the same time. So it's just Clay just having to understand, like, bro, you don't have to rush everything because he, he's doing a Jordan pull. He's rushing so, bro, there's so many shots he took that was like really bad. Like I, I'll point them out if, if they if they're in the video. Off the glass, Looney, the rebound, counted on a foul. Get your yeah, ass up, Clay. Get up, Clay. <laughs> Green trying to set a screen helps out Curry. Curry against Murray. Step back, three pointers up. It's good. I better never hear you weirdos say Steph doesn't do isos or he doesn't drive the ball. He did all of that this series. Looking, Wiggins cutting inside. Od. Playing with that broken left index finger. Curry floater misses. As Sabonis. he misses the floater. <laughs> Fox. Fox in the open floor so dangerous. Finds a bonus running down the lane. That was bad defense right there, though. That was bad defense. Never got it. Traffic. But he was rushing early in this series. He's much more patient Ooh. tonight. Curry. Ooh. Comes. And they have Green guarding the bonus to start the second half. Looney on Harrison Get it back. Barnes. Curry pulls Ooh. back. Get some space. Knock. And that was a push off too, by the way. Y that was a push off. That was actually a legitimate push off. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Uh, I had to point that out. Down the three. <laughs> I had to point that out. Five, three he extended the hell out of that. I ain't gonna lie. Turner, who's a good solid defender. He's on Thompson. Thompson drives, creates some space, falling away. That's good. Maybe the that was that was taken, such a tough shot. That, that was a, such a bad. That was such a tough shot. Green fires Curry. Look at this. Curry hanging out to that pivot foot. Scoop layup is up. It's good. Yo, somebody had a nerve. I saw from, from like, just a random fan. I don't think he was a Warriors fan, but bro said all Curry does is flop. I'm going to ask you all this question. How do y'all feel when people sit there and, and make it seem like the Warriors are the only ones that do these things? Like, why are y'all so disingenuous? Why are y'all so disingenuous? Why do y'all keep doing that? As if Sabonis isn't... Just grinding his meat on the hardwood every single time he tries to either get a layup or a rebound. Why? Why y'all never talk about Sabonis? Why y'all always talk about the Warriors do do this too much? But you don't talk about Sabonis being called for moving screens a, a good amount of times too. You know why? Because the Warriors win a lot. When you win a lot, you want to see them lose a lot. You want to criticize them a lot negatively, even if it doesn't make any damn sense. So, for example... People, 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 people hate Draymond Green. Swear to God, they hate Draymond Green more than they hate Grayson Allen and Dylan Brooks. Like I, I, I like I said, like I understand people not like him, bro. But you sitting here saying this is the dirtiest dude in the NBA, I got looks you kind of weird, as if Dylan Brooks and, and and Grayson Allen do not exist. Like I just don't understand this. I don't, I don't understand the fascination that y'all have with criticizing people incorrectly at that but Draymond's different because I don't care if you, you make fun of him because he kind of deserves it because he, he kind of gets what's coming to him you know but when I hear these moving screens and flopping a lot and all this other bull bro I'm just like you do understand everybody in the league flops you do understand everybody carries Giannis Luca everybody moving screens everybody but because up oh, Golden State's been the best for a while, up oh, is they they do everything against the rules. Up oh, he he doesn't he doesn't deserve a foul call because he does moving screens all the time. That logic is crazy. Because he gets away with something else, he shouldn't get that. But then when we use that same rule to every other team, y'all quiet. Shut the hell up. And a foul. Oh, a circus shot from Steph Curry. Not a chance for a three-point This man was on a mission. Curry fakes, fires, corner three. No good. Wiggins tried to slam it home. Curry the Got the rebound inside, and laid it. it. What a sequence there for the Warriors. That was Malik Monk. He would have got a foul immediately. It is on the perimeter players. Those are on Sabonis 90% of the time. Get your full body into him and then jump. Should have been a foul there, too. Listen, I understand this, too, which I thought was really funny. Was that even during this possession right here? Bonus, 90%. Thank God for Gary Payne, because Gary Payne understands to pass the ball to Curry. He understands. If it's pull somebody, he'll do some dumbass stuff. He'll look at DiVincenzo to give the ball to us, some stupid ass stuff. I don't I don't understand some of the Warriors players sometimes, bro. Like, Curry is trying is obviously trying to get stuff going. Get it rocking. 
No one else should be getting the ball right now. Get your full body into him and then jump. Curry, gorgeous pass. Green with a left-handed finish. I actually take it back. I don't think, I don't think that should have been a foul. I don't think that should have been a foul. Oh! <laughs> Curry can't do isos! Curry against Lyles. Oh, what a fake. Gets inside again. A layup is good. Stop. Stop. Davis, no hesitation. Monk comes in. Backs it in. And a foul. He's so good, bro. Oh, my that God. Was, uh, Malik Monk is so good, bro. I was just driving on the road. I am kind of sad the Lakers got rid of him. And the Hornets, they're just dumb as hell getting rid of him. But the Hornets, you know, they're not the brightest. Five seconds to go. Curry double team finds Thompson. Thompson, a three-pointer. It's good. And the foul. What was the foul? I don't remember double this. Team finds Thompson. Thompson. Oh, that's right. He did go into him. I, I do remember. Was that Fox that went into him? Three-pointer. It's good. And Is that Davis? And the foul. Clay Thompson from way down. Top. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. But that was a key bucket of what I was talking about. Jumper again. Oh, my God. Curry, mid-range jumper. Mm. 36 points for Curry. And the lead is a dozen. Number 30, you are different. points mm. and mm. six assists. Green hands it back. Curry the drive, layup off the glass. Foul. Green hands it back. Curry the drive. Foul. Foul. He's trying, trying, trying to push him down so he can get the block. Foul. Off the glass is good. Box now with bro does not points. get the fouls he deserves, bro. Green and Curry. Curry drives past Davis, gets inside. And I want to talk about that, too. I want to talk about these charges. Because the Kings, to some of my Kings fans, that's why y'all got smoked by 50 this game. Y'all was so busy trying to set charges and, and just play actual defense. And this happened to y'all the game that y'all lost. I saw lies. I saw some bonus. I saw, and don't get me wrong, the charge, setting charges is very smart. But clearly, clearly when you can see the guy is getting his stuff off, he's in the zone, you got to play defense. You have to actually play, like, defense, defense. Stop setting, stop setting. No, get low, play defense. Because I saw way too many times the Kings getting ready to set a charge. I'm just like, bro, just play defense. Like, I want it to be a really good game. That's how I was like, yo, Kings, you, you got to stop just trying to set charges all the time. Just play defense, bro. It's not going to work this game. I'm telling you. It's not going to work. This this dude is not on He's not on a human plane right now. He's in the zone. <laughs> like, for real. You know what I mean? But they just, just kept doing it. They, Mike Brown kept putting Mitchell. He, he did put Mitchell on him. Uh, Love Davis again, bro. But no. If he put Mitchell on him, it probably would have ended up the same, to be honest with you. To be honest, but at least we had a better chance. Like it was just like, oh, bro, it was, it was sad because I like the Kings, I love the Aaron Fox, but I also love my squad, of course. So I wanted to at least have been a way more competitive game, you know. But them Chargers, bro, they, they they were doing too much. Like like just 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 play defense. If you actually played defense, you probably would have got a block or a steal. That's all I'm trying to say. I'd lay up once again off the glass. Stop it's stop depending on away. on trying to do that. Curry with Murray on him. Three pointer. Puts it in. Oh, Looney the rebound. Throws it back up top to Green. Curry wants it. Murray harassing him. Curry just flips it up and in. Steph Curry. And look at Draymond. Magic here with the and look at Draymond. Flexing for his dog. Look at that. Harassing him. Look at Curry that. Just flips it up and in. Look at him. Look at Dre. Look at Dre. Look at Dre. Look at Dre. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you hype your dog up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Steph Curry magic here with the That's what I'm court. talking about. 18 for 35. 6 of 16 from 3. Get look at that. Back. Curry three-pointer. Bang! Get rid of Draymond Green. We're done. You get rid of Draymond Green. We're done. We're done. Y'all don't understand the significance. Listen, I said it before. I said Draymond Green keeps playing dumb this whole series, whatever. I understand. Get rid of him. All I've seen in this series is how important Draymond Green really is and how Jordan Poole is not uh, of the same level of, of importance as he is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. 
But Draymond Green, bro, he does a lot of things, bro. A lot of things right. There's a lot of things wrong. But there's a lot of things right, y'all. That 20-plus point game he had was amazing. And then just watching what he's doing, making sure that Steph's getting the ball, knows his spots. I don't think y'all understand. That's the best. He is the perfect assist man for Steph and Clay. He is the perfect assist man. And we all understand it comes with the, 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 the ignorance of Draymond Green. We get that. But understand with that ignorance, we have four rings. So I'm just saying, are you mad at the results or not? Like, come on, bro. And again, I'm not saying get rid of Jordan Poole right now. I don't want to say that. But I'm saying if he keeps playing the way he's playing the whole entire playoffs, we got to let him go, bro. $140 million for you to shoot like Dylan Brooks is crazy. Without having any kind of defense is crazy. And I got to get on Jordan Poole, bro. Because again, that quote meant a lot. Saying that, oh, that, that he's probably talking about Kaminga and Jordan Poole. Jordan, what, who the hell does Jordan Poole think he is? Why the hell would you get more minutes when you play like Kaka? That makes no sense. Kaminga, I don't understand that. Kaminga, I kind of understand your frustration. But Jordan Poole being upset he's not getting minutes? If that's the case, allegedly. If that is true, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Why the hell would I give minutes to somebody who's, as soon as they touch the ball, every fan in San Francisco gets nervous? Why? Bro, if you don't pass Curry the goddamn ball, what's wrong with you? So, man, Curry had to tell them, if you're feeling emotional, I'll, t I'll tell you in black people terms. If you're being emotional, take your dumb ass home. That's what Steph said. If you're emotional, take your stupid ass home. You feel some kind of way? Don't get on the bus. The fact he has to say that is a problem. Is a problem. If it is Jordan Poole and, and whoever, yeah, yeah, y'all gotta grow the hell up. Cause you, that is one of the goats. I don't give a damn what none of y'all say. That is one of the goats of basketball. He is one of the GOATs. Top 10, one of the GOATs. If he gets this ring, he's top five. He is top five. He get five rings and MVP again, he is top five. Ain't nothing else to say. None else to say. If you don't agree with me, you're out of your mind. And that's not me saying off this game in general. That's me saying just off of everything. We've watched his teammates, except for Wiggins and Looney, be piss poor. And he put the team, that's what I'm saying, bro. When you're able to put the team on your back like this, if LeBron did this, I'd be reacting the same way. KD, the same way. Because those are, those are, I mean, not KD. I mean, he's he's one of the, the greatest that's ever done it. But he ain't, he ain't one of the goats like LeBron and, and freaking Steph. So I can't say that. But come on, y'all. Even Oprah side Iverson had to give love. So why are y'all being weird about it? Come on, man. Steph Curry. I appreciate greatness, bro. I don't give a damn who it is. When Devin Booker went off, I was appreciating the hell out of that. As the inbounder, as Sabonis scores. Just under five minutes remaining. We will not see this again. We will never see someone like this again. I promise you. Sabonis the pass. Again, the double team. Look at this. Thompson wide open for three. Looney again. This Negro breaking. I, I, I said he, he's breaking wide open threes too. It's he like, bro, he was just, he's just not in it. He was just not in it this series, man. He really was not in it, man. I think it was one game he did like pretty decent. No, actually, there was one game he, I think he shot over 50%, didn't he? I don't remember, but it was one game he played. He he, he uh, really did well. I think he did well. Poole did well. Then after that, Poole just died. Like, I don't know what the hell happened. So, so did Clay, actually. I'm sorry. So did Clay. He just died too. I don't know, man. I don't know. And Green in the front court. Throws it up, and Wiggins Dagger. throws it down. There's an exclamation point. Just how I Look at this, look at this, look at this. Road teams in the NBA during the he, he, he got uh, fouled like six, seven times, too. As Curry lays it up and in. They still play with the type of hunger we saw here in Game 7. And let, let's not forget Game 5. 
Again, they were such a bad road team. Uh, the whistle on a foul. As we're approaching a minute remaining. Like this is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, you don't gotta do all that, bro. Like, 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 he takes too long to walk him down. He takes way too long. We're approaching a minute remaining. Way too long. And then the problem right there. We're approaching right here, y'all. Once he does this, boom, boom, you got to He has to go. He has to go. It, it, it's like he's, it's like he's, it's like he's more hesitant now than I've seen him ever before. It's like he's so hesitant on his drives now. I don't know what it is, man. Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what do you think about. They think I'm lying. You think I'm tripping. Let me know, please, because it feels like when he drives now or does anything, he has to think about it before he actually just does it now. Like it doesn't look like it's natural to him now anymore. It doesn't look natural. By the way, with this victory, great pass, still though. Warriors, still a great pass. Still a great day. pass. What a performance from the Warriors! An epic performance. Mike Curry. Brown, man. I don't know, Mike, man. I don't know, Mike. You, you had, you had opportunities, bro. I don't understand why Mitchell didn't even play that much. That was kind of weird to me. But let's talk about it, y'all. Turn, let me turn the music back. I'm sorry. Uh, Draymond, three for seven, one for four. I don't expect him to shoot that much. Uh, but he, he got. That's another thing. Check this out. Draymond has to stop shooting. <laughs> sorry, my ears have to pop. Draymond has to stop shooting these weird shots, bro. Like, Draymond Green way too much. Just, you shouldn't be shooting four threes. I get you're open, but come on, bro. It's not your specialty right now. It's not. Uh, one for two from the line. We, we missed a lot of free throws, by the way. We did miss a lot of free throws. Like, Curry only went to the line. <laughs> Curry went to the line and only had five, bro. That's insane to me, bro. Oh, my God. Six rebounds, eight assists, two steals. Like I said, bro, he's just... Like, come on, bro. Like, when you look at Draymond, bro, plus 25. You look at Jordan Poole, minus two. Come on, bro. Like, 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 like we got to talk about it. Like, I get he's young, but still, bro. Like, were, 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 were we saying he's young when he was doing really good? So when he does bad, we got to critique him no matter what. I'm just saying, man. Uh, Looney, again, another fun. I don't even got to look at it to even know. Hold on. Turn that up. Turn that up. Kevon Looney was the second best player on the Warriors. Wiggins. Wiggins. I love you, Wiggins. But without these, and of course, without Wiggins' defense, too, and his boards at times, and his, I get how important Wiggins is, but Looney has been so important this series. Lo Looney, yo. Yo. 21 boards, four assists, zero turnovers, plus 25 for 11 points. If we get this loony consistently, bro, oh my God. Wiggins, 5 of 16, 1 5. I expected him to shoot bad because he was defending most of the times. So like, I expect that from him and Clay, honestly. I expected that. But I didn't expect him to take this many shots, though. You know what I'm saying? 16 shots is crazy. That's crazy. But he did everything else good, though. One steal, two assists. Like, like, I. I Plus 25 for 17, did a good job. Curry, 20, 20 for 30 freaking eight, seven for 18, three for five, eight boards, six assists, one steal. Plus 25 for a 50 burger, y'all. <laughs> Wardell. Clay, I ain't want to read too much into it, man, because this is, this is, turn this music off, man. Bro, that's what, I, that's what I mean. When I say selfish, is what I'm talking about. If you're shooting, again, if I shoot one for 10, I promise you I'm not going to shoot that ball unless I'm open. Or at least get into the midi. Or at least get on a low block. Something. Two for 10 is crazy. Four for 19 is even crazier. Because you, bro, six for eight from the free throw line. Brother, he, he still got more free throws. That's insane, Steph. That's insane. And Steph drove the ball more. That's crazy. Five rebounds, one assist, plus 30 for 16 points. Meaning his defense was, de was was still good. He actually has the most plus. He has the best plus minus. As I, as I'm saying, like, I can't be too mad at Clay. Only thing I'm mad about is his shot selections have been abysmal. Absolutely abysmal, y'all. 
Kaminga played three minutes. I'd be pissed off too, Kaminga. You have a reason for being upset. GP2, you should have played more as well. Man, at four blocks. I'm not even going to read the rest of this. Love you, GP. DiVincenzo played eight minutes. I understand not playing him this game. But Jordan Poole played 19. So I don't know about that. Jordan Poole should have not played 19 minutes. Uh, Moody played 15 minutes. He should have played more as well too. Um, again, if someone's doing bad, A and B, you got to make some, some adjustments. I'm I'm kind of glad he didn't with Clay because Clay still played phenomenal defense though. I, I even can't I, I just I can't be mad at that. But damn Clay, them shot selections are bad, dog. So bonus, he shot the ball very well. 10 for 16. He missed his only three. He missed he missed a lot of free throws, dog. Jesus Christmas. Eight rebounds, seven assists, two blocks, one turnover. Very good, though. Very good. Minus 22 for 22 points. Barnes. Yeah, I'm not even gonna read that. Waste my time. Uh Murray, five for 10, zero for two. Murray didn't, yeah, he didn't do too hot this game. I'm, I'm surprised by that. Fox, didn't expect you to do too well this game either. Again, to the Kings fans, to the delusional ones. The fact that y'all thought Fox was going to do good was crazy to me. Last game, I was kind of surprised, but game seven, I was like, yeah, I don't know if Fox is going to be doing as good as y'all think, bro. Because he's going to have to go, he's going to have to really play, he's going to have to really lock down and play defense this time. And you could tell five for 19, three for 10. That's that's terrible. That's terrible. Um, three rebounds, six assists, five turnovers, minus 20. Like, honestly, he, he did more harm than anything. He did more harm. That injury, obviously, was probably so, so annoying, bro. Like, I feel bad for bro because I didn't want him to get hurt. I don't want him to get hurt. But I really didn't want him to get hurt. I wanted to see him full potential go against Curry. You know? Lies. Lots of, lots of had some key buckets when, when they needed it, too. But other than that, he didn't do much of anything in the scoring department. But seven boards is always good. Uh, yeah, man, the rest of y'all, I don't know, man. Davis, 5 for 11, 4 for 10. That's good shooting. I don't care what y'all say. That's good shooting. Davis did a good job. Uh, Monk did ass. Um, you know, 2 for 8 is terrible. 4 for 14 is terrible. 9 rebounds and 4 assists is great, though. And only one turnover? It's lovely. Uh... Dozier, man, I ain't reading that. You crazy? Oh no, man! Shout out again to the Kings, man. Round of applause for them, man. Uh, round of applause for having such a great season, man. Uh, the sky's the limit for y'all, but you gotta get Herder to get some balls again. I don't know what's wrong with Herder because he did. He actually played worse than Pool did this whole series. I'm not gonna lie, to you. you played worse than Pool. Says 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 a lot. <laughs> Says a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of crazy. But what do y'all think, man? Did y'all enjoy the commentary? I know it's kind of long, man, but we had to for this one. We had to, man. This was a master class. A master class at work, bro. Oh, man. I was so hyped to see this game, and I was hyped to get to see it after, man. Till next time, y'all. Love y'all so much, man. As y'all know the deal. Peace, love, and keep that drip immaculate at all times, ladies and gentlemen. Love y'all so much, man. Uh, have a great Monday, man. Stay safe, stay warm, and don't forget to learn something new every single day, y'all. Love y'all. So much. Bow. See you on the next one. Almost, almost dropped my stuff. Peace out, y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Mwah.